Hello, Scorpio. I'm back. Um, I'm sorry, but um, my family came home. So uh, we were just uh, reading energy and we were reading your persons towards you. And um, now we're going to get into your energy towards them. So we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Beakers or Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So you may be feeling like they are um, ready to kind of release their singlehood with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Upright, the Nine of Pentacles is a person who is happily single with all their pentacles around them. Um, so perhaps you're ready to um, they're ready, I should say, to release that. You also feel that they are um, extremely loving with the queen of Pe uh, the Queen of Cups upright um, and you know ready to offer your cup of love towards them you also feel the queen of pentacles about them queen of pentacles is the ideal spouse gender neutral in tarot and so perhaps you feel like they seem like the ideal partner but there may be um, some cracks in in their um, their being. So maybe there's there's a few things about them that you have concerns about. And yes, they look like they might be the ideal partner, but you have your concerns. And in the outcome of this cycle, which ends the next new moon, you have the moon card in reverse madness in this deck the chariot card reversed violence in this deck and the queen of torches or wands reversed and so you there may be some clarity with the moon reverse uh, an end to the confusion an end to the madness um, there may be a, a sense of controlled progress with the chariot card reverse usually uh, the chariot can indicate like an out of control fast moving energy but that it's reversed maybe there is a bit of control um, despite this forward momentum and the the violence that the card is called could be that um, you know, in order to avoid any kind of casualty, you know, you'll take a more controlled approach to this connection. And uh, the Queen of Wands, there could be, uh, you know, some shyness uh, from you or your person, um, yet conversely, a little bit of aggressiveness. Sometimes when we're shy, we just want to kind of get over that shyness and come on a little strong. And that could be what's going on with the Queen of Wands reversed. And I do apologize the kind of interruptions. Um, some other signs that I wanted to mention on the table are late Taurus, early Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, 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 three times. Wow, you might be dealing with a Pisces and Cancer. Awesome. All right, we're going to get a little bit more clarity about this cycle of energy by using some bibliomancy. So I will open randomly to a page in this book by Carlos Castaneda, The Active Side of Infinity. So please quiet your mind and think of a question regarding your person and I will open randomly to a passage in the book. Don't 
don't mind that crunching. That is my five-year-old son. Earlier I said children may be an issue in this relationship. And that's double confirmation of that. Always look at the man who is involved in a tug of war with you, he continued. Don't just pull the rope. Look up and see his eyes. You'll know then that he is a man just like you. No matter what he's saying, no matter what he's doing, he's shaking in his boots just like you. A look that, like that renders the opponent helpless if only for an instant. Deliver your blow then. Okay, so hopefully that resonates. I did pull a card to represent your person. And just to get a little bit more confirmation that this reading is indeed about the person on your mind. Uh, this could represent what your person looks like uh, or something about them, uh, maybe their profession or their interests. The card that I pulled and I'm showing it now is Ernest Hemingway. So uh, your person could be into reading or writing. Um, they could struggle with depression as Heming Hemingway did. They could be into hunting or fishing or cats. Okay, my son just uh, added his own little bit of, uh, his own little touch to that reading. So the outlook is good on your relationship, okay? I was going to do that later, but hey, we'll take it right now. Um, so, as I said, uh, your person may, you know, be very clear in their way of speaking as Hemingway is, or yeah, in his writing. So, they could have gray hair, a beard, and a mustache be a little bit older. The card itself says, treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any tourists into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. I believe that is a Hemingway quote. As I said, my son did already um, do my crystal ball. The outlook is good for this connection. Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The artwork in the frame is original. If interested, see info in the description box. And until the next reading, may the source be with you.